on my channel there are uh, quite a few circuits about oscillators. And this video is especially about uh, the issue how oscillators can confuse yourself or how they disguise them. I wanted to make an oscillator in which this coil, it's a 50 Hz transformer for 12 volt, um, could get into oscillation. And that normally means due to the inductance etc etc that it has, has to oscillate somewhere between 50 Hz and 300 Hz. So I made this circuit with a Darlington because this has an extreme amplification. This was the back coupling capacitor and uh, I found that this oscillator oscillated but the frequency that it showed was far too high. I connected uh, this big transformer to the oscillator and found this oscillation and reading my scope I found that it had to be on 50 megahertz or so. So far too high compared to the properties from this transformer. And finally I disconnected the transformer from the whole circuit and it kept oscillating on, I think, 31 megahertz. And I found finally that due to the very high amplification from the Darlington, the whole circuit started to oscillate purely on the uh, properties of the winding. So this wire and that wire and the whole um, wiring and parasitic capacitance and inductance from the circuit. So you can get quite confused in such a situation. You think that your transformer oscillates, but it doesn't oscillate on the right frequency and in fact uh, it doesn't function at all, this transformer, and the whole circuit oscillates on parasitic capacitance and inductance. Here you see that again. And this was the circuit. Um, another uh, issue is when you make oscillators and how to um, search, uh, investigate them on their properties. When you change the working point here by means of this potentiometer, I'm going to do that now by turning this potentiometer 50k here. When you turn that potentiometer and see that this happens, so the oscillation suddenly starts when you turn the potentiometer, turn it fully back again to zero, put it up again, the thing starts to oscillate. When you put it over that point, it stops. The oscillator is not healthy. In a normal situation um, there is no hysteresis in uh, such an oscillator circuit when you change the working point. So this oscillator is not healthy. It works of course uh, given the certain situation, but when for instance put out the power supply, it stops of course, but when I put on the power supply again, it doesn't start again. I have to align the potentiometer, the working point again, to a certain point where it starts to oscillate. And when you build a radio or so, you must be absolutely sure that when you uh, put the radio on, um, your oscillator works. So it works, this oscillation circuit, but not in a proper way. 
it oscillates without a coil purely on parasitic capacitance and inductance and it has a sort of hysteresis. So you can get quite um, confused and disguised about such a circuit.